How can developing countries manage their food waste in a more efficient way and at the same time increase their economy? Every month, this food factory in Ghana transforms around 400 tons of cassava into byproducts. Previously, the resulting waste, around 120 tons of peel and stalks, was lost. Now the factory is testing a way to create value out of this loss. The cassava waste is grounded and mixed with sawdust. The resulting compost is dried, bagged and injected with mushroom spawn. Around five days later, edible mushrooms start to sprout at cropping houses. We are realizing about 15% increment in our income from the mushroom production only. And um, this is per month. And what we intend to do is um, we will increase the production rate because we have lots of the peels and we'll construct more cropping houses so that we increase the rate from five tons per month to about 20 tons per month. Cassava can decompose quickly so the rate of the whole mushroom production becomes shorter. Cassava also has the basic nutrients mushrooms need to grow. We're trying the cassava too because it can decompose quickly. So then um, the rate of the whole production becomes shorter. But apart from that, it has the basic nutrients that um, the mushrooms need to grow. The temperature range is between 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. Not too much moisture, probably 60 to 70 percent. And relative humidity to probably 60. That would be cool for the mushrooms. And how to unveil more secrets about cassava waste? Next stop, the United Kingdom. It was from these laboratories in Kent that this European project was coordinated. Complementary research on both cassava and yam was done here and scientists state that much progress has been made on understanding new natural composing patterns. With the um, cassava, what we were able to do was to have a fermentation step. The natural heat produced from that, in effect, sterilised the products. So we had something that was actually more environmentally friendly as well. Back in the Ghana food factory, managers are already working on ways to bring this scientific innovation closer to the local population. The waste that we are generating can bring income and also work to other people. So now we are going to train our farmers in the neighborhood how to do it. They will do the, uh, the bags and supply them so that the, their offices they can produce mushrooms and sell to have extra income. And the local cassava farmers say they are ready to take up the challenge. Yeah, It's an interesting project for us farmers. We'll be able to earn extra income in between our harvesting seasons. We're ready to follow the scientists' instructions and know-how on how to use this cassava waste. Farmers and scientists hope that a country like Ghana could soon be able to produce around 650 tonnes of edible mushrooms per year from cassava waste.